This is Film Bookcast. Film Bookcast. Film Bookcast. The official podcast of Film Book. Get ready for the latest in film news, TV show news, and theatrical reviews. Film Book's podcast starts now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Film Bookcast. The official podcast of Filmbook. My name is Chris Banks. If you're tuning in for the first time, what I do on Filmbook has, I discuss the latest film and TV show news. I also review an in-theater film. You can find more about Filmbook Cast on film-book.com by using the search term Filmbook Cast. You can also email us at podcast at film-book.com with Filmbook Cast in the subject line. Some TV news from this week. NBC placed a drama pilot order for a series called Blank Slate, created by the Brave creator Dean Gorgoras, and an adaptation of the novel Predictably Irrational. Blank Slate follows a special agent, Alex McCoy. He's a legend in law enforcement. The agent we all hope is out there. The agent we'd all like to be. The only issue is, he actually doesn't exist. He's a ghost. A phantom. So what happens when a man claiming to be Alexander McCoy walks through the door with all of his skills and knowledge, but with an agenda nobody will see coming? The other pilot ordered is titled The Irrational. It's a drama based on Dan Airely's best-selling novel Predictably Irrational. The potential show follows a world-renowned professor of behavioral science as he lends his expertise to an array of high-stakes cases involving governments, law enforcement, and corporations with his unique and unexpected approach to understanding human behavior. No word yet on when the pilots will debut, but we'll keep up with news as I'm sure we'll get some trailers by the end of the year, hopefully. Some more film news. Apple Apple TV announces the premiere date for Nicole Kidman and Cynthia Erivo's anthology series, Roar. Roar will premiere all eight episodes on April 15th on Apple TV+. Plus. The series tells a futuristic and magical realism stories that mirror the common dilemmas of the modern women of modern women in today's world. The episodes will feature some heavy hitters, Nicole Kidman, Issa Rae, Merritt Weaver, Cynthia Erivo, Alison Bray, and many others. It was created by Liz Flayhive and Carly Mensch. Apple also announced that they're going to release a four-part a four-part documentary series titled They Call Me Magic, which centers on the NBA legend Irvin Magic Johnson, interviews with him, his family, his teammates, and traces his rise to basketball greatness and an HIV advocate. The series will debut on April 22nd, and some exciting news for Apple TV fans. Wrapping up the week in TV news is some disappointing news for fans of The Orville, as Season 3 has been delayed until June. But Hulu released the opening footage from the premiere, and they released a statement saying that thanks for being so patient as we've navigated the production challenges resulting from the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. As occasionally happens, our show has been repositioned amidst the ever-changing television schedule landscape, which means that the wait will be just a little bit longer. The Orville Season 3 is now set to premiere on June 2nd on Hulu. It was originally scheduled to premiere in March. Fans of the Orville know it's set 400 years in the future, and it finds the crew of the USS Orville continuing their mission of exploration as they navigate both the mysteries of the universe and the the complexities of their own interpersonal relationships. We're very excited for Season 3 of the Orville. Just have to wait a little bit longer. That's it for TV news. This week in film news is exciting news as David Lynch has joined the cast of Steven Spielberg's upcoming drama, The Fablemans. His role is a closely guarded secret, but The Fablemans will mark the first collaboration between Lynch and Spielberg, both seminal directing talents who emerged in the 70s. He's in post-production on The Fablemans, and Universal has set a release date around the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. The movie is described as a semi-autobiographical project drawing from Spielberg's time growing up in Arizona. David Lynch joins the cast including Michelle Williams, Seth Rogen, Paul Dano, and many others. We'll keep up with news from The Fablemans. It's a very exciting casting news. Some more film news from this week. Jason Statham fans will be excited as his upcoming Meg sequel, Meg 2, The Trench, has begun shooting in the UK. Variety reported this this week. The film is about a murderous 80-foot prehistoric shark. Statham's expected to reprise his role as rescue diver Jonas. Dean Gorgaris is screenwriting the film along with Eric Holber and John Holber. We'll keep up with news about the Meg 2, the trend. If anybody has seen the latest installment of the screen... The Scream franchise. Fans will be excited as the sixth installment has already been greenlit. 
The same directors for Scream will return for the sixth installment, and Guy Busick and James Vanderbilt will pen the script. They're going to begin shooting the sixth installment this summer. They released a statement that said, We are tremendously grateful to the fans around the world who enthusiastically received our film. We can't wait for audiences to see what Radio Silence writers Jamie and Guy and Project X have in store for our Woodsboro family. The latest Scream successfully relaunched the franchise when it opened in January. To date, it's earned over $62 million and a global haul of over $106 million. The franchise debuted back in 1996 and was one of my favorite horror franchises and still is. I just haven't seen the latest one, but I can't wait to. Exciting news for fans of Scream. That's it for film news. Now let's switch up gears and check out some DVD home releases from this week. Clifford the Big Red Dog is now available on DVD. When middle school... Emily Elizabeth meets a magical animal rescuer who gives her a little red puppy. She never anticipated waking up to find a giant 10-foot hound in her small New York City apartment. While her single mom is away on business, Emily and her fun uncle, Casey, set out an adventure that will keep you on edge, that will keep you on the edge of your seat as our heroes take a bite out of the Big Apple. Clifford the Big Red Dog got a 55 meter score and is now available on DVD. Ghostbusters Afterlife is now available on DVD. When a single mom and her two kids arrive in a small town, they begin to discover their connection to the original Ghostbusters and the secret legacy their grandfather left behind. Ghostbusters Afterlife got a 45 meter score and is now available on DVD. The Surrogate is now available on DVD. Jess Harris, a 29-year-old web designer for a nonprofit in Brooklyn, is ecstatic to be a surrogate and egg donor for her best friend Josh and his husband Aaron. Twelve weeks into the pregnancy, a prenatal test comes back with unexpected results that prove a moral dilemma. As they all consider the best course of action, the relationship between these three friends are put to a test. The Surrogate got a 73 meter score and is now available on DVD. That's it for DVD home releases. Let's switch up gears and check out some TV trailers from this week. An exciting TV trailer that debuted this week came from Paramount+. Plus. It's the first teaser trailer for its upcoming series titled The Offer. It's an all-new series based on the infamously troubled production of The Godfather. The never-revealed experiences will be told through the eyes of Oscar-winning producer Albert S. Rudy, who will be played by Miles Teller. The trailer gives us a good taste about the aesthetics and the climate of the time in which the movie was made. Check out the trailer for the first trailer for The Offer. It'll debut on Paramount Plus starting April 28th. Another TV trailer that dropped this week is another one from Apple TV Plus. It's called Lincoln's Dilemma. It examines the legacy of the 16th president with new stories and perspectives. It's narrated by Jeffrey Wright and features Bill Camp as the voice of Abraham Lincoln. Leslie Odom Jr. is the voice of Frederick Douglass, and all four parts of Lincoln's Dilemma will premiere globally on Friday, February 18th. It looks like a fresh look at a man that we all need to know more of. The last TV trailer we'll talk about this week comes from Stars, and it stars and it stars Julia Roberts. She plays Martha Mitchell in a series called Gaslight. It's a new spin on the Watergate scandal. It's a limited series. The cast is stacked with Sean Penn and many others. It'll debut on April 24th, and it centers on Martha as the first person to publicly sound the alarm on Nixon's involvement in Watergate causing both the presidency and her personal life to unravel. Check out the trailer for Gaslit. It'll debut on Stars April 24th. That's it for TV trailers. Let's switch up gears and check out some film trailers from this week. A new movie trailer that dropped, starring Bruce Willis, A Day to Die looks like an action-packed, adrenaline-filled crime story. Check out the trailer for A Day to Die. I think it's going to be a really fun movie for those who go see it. Another crazy trailer that came out this week is a horror trailer. It's titled The Exorcism of God. It'll be released in theaters March 11th. It's about American... It's it's a fictional story about an American priest, Peter Williams, working in Mexico. He's considered a saint by many local parishioners. However, due to a botched exorcism, he carries a dark secret that's eating him alive until he gets the opportunity to face his own demon one final time. The trailer for The Exorcism of God is one of the most striking and scary trailers I've seen in a very long time. It it reminds me of the first trailer I saw for The Exorcism of Emily Rose. It's just a haunting, terrifying trailer. Check out the trailer for The Exorcism of God. It'll debut in theaters March 11th. The last film trailer we'll check out this week is another horror trailer, but this one is a little less intense, but equally intriguing and really exciting. 
The film's title, No Exit, Havana Rose Lou from Mayday makes her feature film leading role debut as Darby, a young woman en route to a family emergency who is stranded by a blizzard and forced to find shelter at a highway rest area with a group of strangers. It almost reminds me of Assault on Precinct 13 in that way. When the girl stumbles across an abducted girl in a van in the parking lot, it sets her on a terrifying life or death struggle to, decover, to discover who among them is the kidnapper. Like I said, it reminds me of Assault on Precinct 13 and its building drama and, you know, who done it type storytelling check out the trailer for no exit it's an original film by 20th century fox but it's going to be on hulu and it debuts february 25th thanks so much for checking us out this week thank you so much for listening to this episode of film bookcast you can find more of my work on film-book.com just search for chris banks or film bookcast you can also find me on twitter i'm at c banksy that's s-e-e banksy i'm also on instagram at the Chris Banks. If you listen to this podcast on iTunes or another podcast service, please rate and review this episode. If you're listening to this podcast on our YouTube channel, Film Book Podcast, please like our video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment in the comment section. It really helps other people discover our podcast. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com slash filmbook. Your support really helps us create more engaging content. You'll find our Patreon link below in the description. If you want to tweet about this podcast, just use the hashtag FilmBookCast. Tune in next week for the next episode of the FilmBookCast. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you then.